of it. Hi, this is Aaron Booker with Varvid.com. I'm in Austin, Texas with uh, one of the founders of Spiceworks, Jay. Jay, why don't you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about what you do. Sure, I'm Jay Hallberg. I'm a co-founder and vice president of marketing at Spiceworks. And uh, so I was one of the guys who came up with the idea for, uh, for starting Spiceworks and also, I guess, the, the business model, giving it away for free and uh, making money on ads and a variety of other things was, uh, was my, my idea. <laughs> so you could credit that to me or blame me or whatever. And then, uh, so I spent a lot of time on that, plus just how we get new users on board and, and uh, putting on events like Spice World. And so Spice World is being here, held here at the Alamo Draft House, which is this really cool theater in Austin where you can actually eat food and watch a movie and have a great experience. Drink beer. And drink beer. Right. Yeah, key point here as we are here in Austin. So tell us a little bit about Spice World. That's your big annual event that's happening this, this week. It is, yeah. So last year, sort of about halfway through the year, we thought we had a bunch of users come to us and say, hey, we want to get together. Yeah. So we thought we really like everything we do. It's driven by a user request. And so that's when we got the ball rolling and wanted to do it in sort of a unique Spice Works and Austin type of way. So that's why we chose the Alamo Draft House. And then, uh, so about 100 people came last year and people said we liked it so much give us more and more opportunities to meet. And so this year we actually did Spice Worlds in a number of cities. And uh, all told we'll have about 400 and some people attend the various Spice World uh, gatherings that we held in 2009. And I, this must be your biggest one now. I've got this is, this is the marquee event. This is the, yeah. the, this is the big one. So this is where everybody really gets excited to come to it. If they can't make it, we stream portions of it around the world. Oh good, excellent. Yeah. What is, um, uh, tell us a little bit about the product, because some of our audience isn't going to be familiar with Spiceworks and how it competes with like a level platform, sure. you could say, and that sort of sure. thing. So we designed Spiceworks to really meet the needs of people who work in or serve small and medium businesses. So now typically companies with fewer than 500 employees. Mm -hmm. And um, it does what we call kind of an 80-20 of the features. So we kind of go, go broad instead of deep in all the categories. But there's a uh, you know, network inventory where we can see everything that's on the network, the software, printer ink, storage space, help desk reporting, monitoring, troubleshooting tools, a network map. And then a real uh, a bonus, if you will, is a very vibrant and active community mm -hmm. that interacts with each other. And they're all SMB IT pros or small uh, MSPs and IT consultants. And then we bring a lot of that information right into those modules, if you will, within the Spiceworks application. So we're trying to really build out this you know, integrated desktop to do everything IT in a small and medium business. I, I know that in my own practice, we've been using Spiceworks as a technology assessment tool. Mm. So we'll just get in, we'll run it um, and for a week or two and kind of gather information sure. and get good reporting to deliver along with our business assessment sort of as we're just you know starting it to engage with a new client. Right. It's been great for that. It's good. A fantastic product. Glad to hear and then you know that's what we find is a lot of people start using Spicework for one reason. Right. So they might be looking at they're trying to do an inventory, trying to do an assessment. A lot of people increasingly are using it for the help desk. Mm -hmm. So they'll be looking for a good free help desk. Oh, yeah. So they'll start there and then they go, wait, what's that? <laughs> And then they'll, so they'll start learning about other parts of it, and so we try to make that easy to learn other parts and slowly people kind of move on to the other applications. And, and, and it's been, the, the product has just been growing so fast. I'm very impressed. You're constantly updating features and like the network mapping now, and right. just it's just growing and improving, and, and obviously your growth must just be incredible. Yeah, so for, you know, from a product footprint standpoint, we've now done, uh, I think, about 16 releases in wow. three years, and so we'll be soon releasing Spiceworks 4.5 okay. in uh, November, which will be the 17th release. And so the, the dev team is pretty, they crank away pretty frantic, but the way, frantically, but the way we're able to do that is everything we build is driven by the user base. Mm -hmm. So there is a very detailed forum where people go in, submit features, say what they want it to do, and then all the users vote on that. So it's kind of like, you know, dig style voting right, right. applied to product management. Cool. And so that way we just, we have a great list of literally hundreds of things to build. So if you want to see our roadmap, it's public and we just crank it out as fast <laughs> as we can. Well, I love the social media integration in the sense that you've got that nice community forum and right. you have a question, you've got a place to turn to, either about the product or about IT in general. 
seems like a great solution for, for that smaller IT department or that smaller bar to get some support they need. Well, that's, you know, and that's interesting because when we did our research on Spicebook, so we all come from the systems management space. Mm -hmm. uh, two of our co-founders were at Tivoli throughout the 90s. Oh, sure. So we built, you know, built stuff for enterprise class mm -hmm. uh, systems management. And when we decided to help out the small business, we hopped in our car, drove around Austin, and met with IT guys in you know, law firms, manufacturing firms, and they say, you know, hey Joe, someone's here to see you. And the thing that surprised us beyond the tools and how disconnected the tools were and how hard to use it was the guy said, I didn't know where to go to get help. And if I search for help, do I trust these people? And so we were really surprised how tough it was for them if you're the one IT person in an accounting firm. Right. Who do I turn to? And they were really kind of this jack of all trades. You know, I might know exchange, but how do I do this networking right. problem? And so right. they were really hungry to connect with experts, whether it was other IT pros like them, or again, small IT consultants or MSPs that were also in the community. So that really, we knew there was something there, but we were, you know, came and surprised how much that's taken off. Not bad. Over the past few years. Well, thanks so much for your time. I think it's great that you're building a physical community around your virtual community right. and, and around your product. It's fantastic, and I'm sure we'll help you continue to grow. Thank you so much. Glad to glad to be here. Thanks, thanks for taking time to stop by. Thanks, Aaron Booker from Barbit.com.